Hi, my name is Shane Sterling. I wanted to talk about how I discovered the Essene Gospel of Peace, which is a book, and how that made me know I needed to be on a 100% raw food diet. I was 30 years old, and I had just gotten back from a couple years living away from my hometown. I had moved to Los Angeles to pursue um, art and bigger and better things, and found out that I didn't really like Los Angeles very much. I came back to my hometown, and I was basically looking for a place to live, basically looking for a job. I was kind of in one of those in-between states. And a guy walked up to me on the street and handed me a book. And I was like, okay, that's great. He just walked on. He, I don't know if he even said anything. I don't really remember. But I looked at the book, and it was the Essene Gospel of Peace. And it had a, a Gustave Doré uh, engraving piece of art as the cover. And I love Gustave Doré. I have a Gustave Doré book. It's, it's such epic um, artwork. And so that really drew me in right there. I was like, wow, this, this is cool. I actually read the book, cover to cover, The Essene Gospel of Peace. At that moment, at the age of 30, changed my life. I knew that the contents of that book was speaking to my soul, and I knew I heard the call. I heard the call. And it was a very, very daunting concept to live a life devoted to raw food and fasting and detoxifying the body and cleansing and spiritual devotion, basically, and devotion to your higher power or to God through the kind of like the selfless act of of clearing your own vessel to be ready for the master to return, so to speak. Uh, through cleansing the body and through being the uh, healthiest we can be, we are prepared to have a relationship with God and our higher self. And I believe that uh, that is absolutely true. I had never really thought of that concept until I was 30 years old, which seems late for me now. I was pretty old. I, you know, Part of me thinks I should have tuned into it kind of sooner, but it was the Essene Gospel of Peace that broke that open and I felt like the light shone down on my soul and I felt the I felt the being bathed in the light of that message and I felt caught the calling and it wasn't until 15 years later now at 45 years old that I actually have heeded that call and I have transitioned myself um, diligently and in devotion to a 100% raw vegan diet in order to cleanse and detoxify my body, to be in devotion to my relationship with my higher self and the divine creation and the divine energy uh, that runs through us all. So I don't have a religious background. I wasn't raised religiously. I have always been interested in spirituality. I've always been interested in um, self, uh, personal development and bettering myself and improving myself and uh, Really, the Essene Gospel of Peace has been so transformative in my life. It's been such a positive message. The message of raw food, the message of not cooking your food and destroying the food that you put in your body, but bringing only life into your body so that your body can be in life and in light. And it's been a profound journey for me. And I just wanted to share that, that the Essene Gospel of Peace has been so powerful. Uh, I really hope that if someone is listening to this message and is interested in that in any way that you might uh, pick up a copy, you can actually find it online for free. If you type in Essene Gospel of Peace free PDF, you'll be able to find it. It is uh, not quite as fun to read on a screen as it is in a co physical copy. I don't think the physical copies are very much. Um, there's like six books, I believe, in the series, but book one is all you need to get the message. And it's really profound and it's really cool. It's really a one-of-a-kind message. It's the words of Jesus uh, translated from the Dead Sea Scrolls, supposedly. I don't know specifically the details of how the message came about. It was translated um, by a Russian guy translating the Sanskrit. And, um, you know, how true it is to the words of Jesus, I don't know. It might have, Jesus might have been part of the Essene group, uh, and around that it might have been someone else who was saying the words, you know, so I don't know the details. I wasn't there, obviously. But the message itself has illuminated my pathway. It has illuminated my life. I'm 100% confident of it. I'm 100% um, 
convinced in the depths and the bones and the cells of my being and in my soul that it is the correct path for me and that it is the correct path for a life of illumination and cleanliness for the relationship with God. That's how I feel about it. And, you know, when we uh, take in death into our body, you know, the death of an animal or the death of cooking food, we are giving our body death literally. How do we expect to be clean and clear, you know? So that's for you to find out. I've already found out what I know, and I'm already on my path. It's just a it's just a word of a message about the Essene Gospel of Peace that I wanted to share here today. So thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. That's my message. And it's really important for um, me to share my messages and, and be in service to the spiritual evolution of humanity. That's my mission. That's what I am really passionate about. So thank you for listening, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.